back in the day, the favorite part of school was recess time for pretty much anyone, right? And if you ask your kids, they might not have a different answer. The playground is the place for friends and fun, but some kids are facing barriers, which is why Wingate Elementary School took on the initiative to develop and design a new disability inclusive playground. Our reporter Kirsten McBriar wanted to learn more about the barriers some children are facing. Kirsten? Yeah, thanks so much, Hannah. This is a fundraising effort using a mix of grants and some help from District 51 when it comes to maintenance once the construction starts, but the rest of the funds need to be acquired on their own, leaving Wingate looking for your help. I feel sad because they can't do it. The playground at Wingate Elementary School, built in 1982, is old enough for some of these kiddos' parents to have seen the jungle gym in its prime. Four decades later, students and staff are realizing the need for something new. Currently, our playground is really limited um, with accessibility for students with um, a variety of disabilities. A concrete barrier wraps the playground, making it impossible for some students to even reach the equipment. And once past the concrete, kids face another block, wood chips. And for students like Gabby Rodriguez, it's hard to find footing. Myotonia congenita is a genetic disorder, neuromuscular disorder, and she has the inability to relax her muscles. With Gabby's condition, Wingate's current playground limits what she can do during playtime. I can do all the slides, most of them, and I can climb up the ladder to get into the bubble, and like the swings and things. A simple change could help Gabby and other students play. Anything with ramps. It's really hard for her to do stairs or climbing. Dreams of a new playground design have sat with Wingate principal Amy Schrader for a while now. When Gabby's mom asked about big goals on Schrader's list. Without hesitating, she said, um, I want an all-inclusive playground. Schrader says students already notice the disconnect of accessibility on the playground. She tells stories of children making pathways in the gravel surrounding the jungle gym so those in wheelchairs aren't limited to sidewalks. Some even pulling a couple dollars from their piggy banks to donate towards the project. There's something really special when kids of varying abilities can play together. Now, what's left is excitement for a new chapter of all-inclusive learning and fun. This project is estimated to cost almost $700,000, but for our future generation, Ms. Schrader thinks it, the investment is well worth the price tag. I'm Kirsten McBriar reporting. All right, thanks, Kirsten. Interested parties can go to WingatePlayground.com to donate and hear stories from students with disabilities.